2K Sports and Major League Baseball bringing you Tuesday Night Baseball with Steve Phillips, John Crock, I'm Gary Thorne. Great to have you with us. Roy Oswald, the hitters, planning their strategy against a guy who's got a repertoire of great sliders. And the fans here tonight at Rogers Center glad to welcome their ball club onto the field. The starting pitcher in this ball game, Dustin McGowan. And uh, as he looks at this White Sox lineup, what are they going to see from him today? A uh, quality right-hander on the mound against this lineup. He should be able to, to get the outs he needs to come away with a victory. Presented by Pepsi, we'll show you the lineup Ozzie Guillen's got going. And, he, and Posednik's batting. Well, the Blue Jays with a loss last night. They had quite a bit of steam coming into that one. They'd won four in a row. McGowan with the pitch. Swings at that breaking ball but misses. It's 0 and 1. So looking at that game, only three hits out of their offense. They were shut out. That's well, just one indication of how great the pitching was in that game. That one goes foul. Swing and a miss on a heater. Strike him out one down. You know, sometimes in the back, you go five, six, seven pitches as they start to foul off the 0 2 count. I like that he went right at him aggressively, strikes him out on three pitches. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. An elect on the ground to second. Hill. And so Ramirez retired. And we'll take a quick look at the Blue Jays and their defensive alignment. Scouting these fielders, Steve. Aaron Hills is as much of a grinder on defense as he is on offense. This guy is always ready to make a play. He never takes a pitch off. Canerco at the plate. On his last game, came so close to hitting for the cycle. Got the home run and the single and double, but unfortunately, just couldn't come up with a triple. Fastball swung out and missed, 0 and 1. 429, big number. The average last season against the Blue Jays at Rogers Center. Swung on, put in play. That's going to be fielded by Snyder. And that's out number three. It's called short work of three. Took six pitches. So it'll be the Toronto Blue Jays, bottom half of the first. Troy Oswald's going to be pitching. He gets settled in for Chicago. Steve, he's facing that Toronto lineup today. What is he thinking about? With Roy Oswald on the mound, you're going to take a look. He's one of the best at changing hitters' eye levels. He'll throw you the high fastball and throw a breaking ball down in the dirt after that. He'll move the ball inside, then move it away. He keeps hitters off balance, and it moves an assortment of pitches around to be effective. Back up. And so Wells retired. Brought to you by Pepsi, here's the Blue Jays lineup. John, who do we keep an eye on? Well, in this game today, you expect to see great offense from Aaron Hill. And here's a guy who took kind of a long time coming in his career to figure it out. 2009, though, he really put it together and look for big things in this game today. And we've got Snyder batting. Well, Toronto Blue Jays in 2009 actually played some pretty good baseball in front of the hometown fans. And so that's a good sign for them to continue to grow this year. Two down here in the inning. Blue Jays at home with a winning record, 44 W's there, and a lot of that because of the offense. They were able to generate uh, some pretty good runs, 389 of them at home. Yeah, and that's the thing. Early in the season, they were a very aggressive swinging team. They scored a lot of runs early, and then when teams decide, okay, well, if they're going to swing at the first pitch, now we're going to mix and match our first pitches. We're going to try to get them to chase. Their offense struggle a little bit. The fact that Vernon Wells is a guy that they put in the middle of that lineup, he struck. Hit up the middle. Through the infield base hit. That's their first hit. Now and a moment to check out the defensive alignment for the White Sox. Any scouting pick, Steve? Well, they're confident with Alex Rios out there. Just a solid all-around defender with a strong throwing arm. He's a quality defensive player. It's Hill at the plate. And right now, top five and runs batted in in the league. And Oswald has him 0-1 with that called strike. Slider locked him up. He's behind 0-2. I don't think he liked that call very much, but the reality is 
He couldn't hit that any day of the week. That's a great pitch. And a great pitch catches Aaron Hill looking. That's strike three. There's some great work on the mound. Roy Oswald works his way out of the first inning without allowing anyone to score. And it'll be the White Sox. A chilly night that seems to be getting a little colder as we play on and happy to bring you our broadcast on 2K Sports. And Quinton settles in, leading the MLB in batting average. Now swinging and a shot towards second. And it's in time from his knees to get the out. Tremendous play right here and took a good arm to complete it. Well, it's one thing to get to the ball and make the play. It's another thing to make that accurate a throw from your knees. Great job. And Beckham's in the box. You talk about Gordon Beckham and the fact that in his rookie season he hit 270 in 2009. That tells you that this kid has a lot of discipline at the plate. First pitch was a strike. 0-1 now. Beckham uh, made his debut in June and it certainly didn't take long for him to be recognized around the major. Which certainly did and you talk to White Sox personnel and they think that he could be a guy that they can build a team around. There's a swing line drive center field and there it is that's their first hit of the ball game. So that'll bring Alex Rios to the plate springtime around Major League Baseball. Here's a look at the Blue Jays. Thursday they will finish up the Chicago series. After that, they'll be playing host to the Angels and the bat of Bobby Abreu. That team enjoying a stretch of great performances recently. That's a three-game series. They'll stay right there for the next set of games. The Kansas City Royals. Lots of home games. That's always a good thing. In the top ten in hits. That one misses. It gets away from the catcher. McGowan with the pitch. That's a strike, and it's 0-2. Time for Rios now to protect. Well, he's getting the job done this year, no question about it. Such production, so consistent. Catcher gets a hold of that one in the dirt. He strikes out Alex Rios on the swing and a miss. Just drops that one in there. Good break on it. 83 miles per hour. I think the pitcher had him fooled on this one all the way through, John. He wasn't expecting that outside corner delivery. Well, he just pulled the string on that pitch, and that's good, good stuff right there. It's going to be Przinski. He's in the top echelon of hits right now. Takes a swing at that fastball. Can't connect 0-1. McGowan delivering a strike that puts him in charge 0-2. Oh, he just swung late on that one. That's what you call getting gassed up. Slider down at the shoe tops as he dances away. Well, he knew exactly what he was doing, throwing it that far in on the plate, backing the hitter off. Now he's set up to go away again. Lind will field, and he's there to retire the side. No runs on a base hit. They leave one man on at first. Both teams still looking for that first run here in Toronto. For those of you just joining in, I'm Gary Thorne along with John Cruck and Steve Phillips. We bring you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. And it's Edwin Encarnacion now. And for RBIs, he's one of the best in the league. one on the way. Hard grounded a short. Fielded by Ramirez. So Encarnacion is set down. Number three. And Ruiz settles in. Base is empty with one away. Oswald got him to swing. 0 and 1. On the way. Swing and lined up the middle. And that's a base hit. Ruiz on board. That'll bring Lyle over Bale. Well, I've got a moment to take a look back to last year's Toronto Blue Jays. Fourth in hits, fourth in home runs. And this is an offense that didn't just go up there looking to make contact. They looked to drive the ball. Among the top five teams in slugging percentage in the league, that ability to drive it and get the extra base hit. He said bad underway. 1-0 after that first pitch missed. 
Here's the 1 0 from Oswald. And over Bay swings and misses on it. That'll even the count up. Well, that pitch right there, he just blew it right by the hitter. Swung late. Sinker can't find the zone. Two and one. Now the 2 1 pitch. Ooh, and a called strike of the letters. Two and two now. A good four seam fastball right there. You have to know yourself. He didn't think he could catch up to it. Better off to take it. You're Strike out. three called. Home plate back. umpire well, racks him up two in. down. Shortstop. Now this curveball just drops right off Alex. the table. The Gonzalez. hitter thought he had a beat on it, then he gave up as it breaks into the strike zone. Gonzalez at the plate. He's got a 389 career batting average off the White Sox. One oh now hit hard on the ground to short fielded by Ramirez throws the first side is retired no runs on a hit and they'll strand it. and in the batter's box it's Tian one of the best batting averages in the league that fastball gets by him on the first pitch 0 and one. McGowan with the pitch and he leaves that one alone Mark T and shows patience to even it I was got to have some confidence in this one three hits in the game last night must be seeing the ball well good spot for the changeup that time one and two well you talk about a guy who just corkscrewed himself into the ground bad timing and T and swings and misses strike three with two strikes the hitter wanted the fastball he got it but didn't do anything with it going to be Nix now over nine career at bats he's had one hit off the Blue Jays swings and misses at the fastball 0 and 1 he's wishing he laid off that one a strike and a pitch in the dirt Swing and a miss. Slider two down. Well, that's what you love to see from a pitcher. Setting guys down quickly. Keeps that pitch count down. One, two, three. Can't ask for any more efficiency than that, John. Now an excellent pitch selection there. And Posednik's batting. He's the stolen base leader in the American League at the moment. First pitch way out of the zone. Ball one. Seem to swing under that one, even at one. Well, if you weren't watching last night, you may not know he had two RBIs in that ball game. Swung on, that is hit. Oh my! He manages to get the glove on that. Talk about reflexes. And we're going to see Chavez here. Number thirteen, Raúl Chavez. And Oswalt misses. The pitch. Nice shatters his bat. A line drive. And that'll set down Chavez. Center fielder. Number 10. One away. Here's Vernon Wells. Well. Grounded out his last time through. And Wells settles in. First pitch. And the pitch from Oswalt. Low for a ball. Wow, he had some good bite on that one right there. But the hitter wouldn't chase it. And he looks at a slider that's in there, one on one. I don't think he liked that call very much, but the reality is he couldn't hit that any day of the week. That's a great pitch. One one, a fastball inside, two and one now. Two one on the way. And a beauty on the outside corner. Evens things at two. I don't think he liked that call very much, but the reality is. He couldn't hit that any day of the week. That's a great pitch. Swung on and hit. It's going to be Quentin. At the plate. And the so Wells retired. Right two two away. Number Not a bad swing on that pitch, but Bradley just is. got underneath Bradley. it. The result, easy fly ball to right. Here's the first pitch. Strike he one. swings on that 0-0 delivery, misses the fastball. Strike one.
He swings now and really hit that. Rios will field. And that's going to do it in this half inning. So Roy Oswald gets a one. Quick glimpse of the manager, Ozzie Guillen. He's hoping for that offense to come alive sooner than later. Here's the first pitch. Ramirez will foul that one away. Here it comes. And Alexei Ramirez watches that one go by. Count is now even. Well, Gary, they really can't seem to mount any offense at all. I mean, one hit through four innings, and, you know, you really have to look at your approach at the plate. Grounded up the middle. Hill. And so Ramirez retired. First base, number 14. Canerco at the plate. And uh, at the plate, one of the tops and runs scored. Top five. McGowan with the pitch. And Canerco will take it down low for a ball. Swing and a miss. Canerco not making contact. That'll even up the count. Well, the thing about Paul Canerco now at this stage in his career is he'll play a lot of games at first base, but when he needs a break, he can go to that DH role. He's not a guy that's going to steal any bases. He has hardly any speed left, but he's a run producer in the middle of that lineup and a leader in that clubhouse. And Paul Canerco strikes out, could not make contact. Let's see the pitch in the K-cam. It was a 12-6 curve. Well, sometimes you get fooled so badly, there's just nothing else you can do but hope and pray that you put the ball in play, hopefully foul, to get another pitch to hit. And it's Carlos Quentin in the box now, leading the league in home run. The pitch, liner between first and second, and that'll do it as Overbay puts it away. It's Adam Lindon to lead it off. Now, I had some difficulty making contact in the game last night, striking out twice. Here's the first pitch to Lynn. He doesn't make contact on the Oswalt pitch. And with two strikes on him, Adam Lind will protect the strike zone right here. Still 0 and 2. There's a swing, fly ball down the line and left. The catch is made. These were the hitters with the most home runs around the league last year, courtesy of State Farm. Well, two of the more feared hitters in baseball will be playing in this game here today. They make balls disappear when they swing the bat. And I tell you what, pitchers have to be at the top of their game because if they make a mistake, runs will be put on the board. It's Hill at the plate. And Aaron Hill in 2009. That ball swung on, hit. Rios to field it. That's the second out. Here's a look at what's coming up for the White Sox. Final game with Toronto's Thursday. They'll continue their road trip for the next series. The Cleveland Indians will be hosting. That one kicks off Friday. Following that, they'll have to deal with Evan Longoria. The Rays come into town. Boy, have they been rolling. And Edwin Encarnacion standing in. He's a big home run guy. Top 10 in the league right now. That one gets passed, but no damage done. Here's the 1 0 from Oswald. 1 0 pitch, slider, runs outside, 2 0. Consistency, professionalism. He never seems to give up in at bat, Gary. He's so locked in this year. There's a swing and a drive, deep right field. This is a one hopper off the wall. And then Cardesion is stretching it. He makes it the second base. Sometimes risky business when you go after that extra base. Yeah, Gary, that dive in the second base was the key as well. He didn't slow down at all, able to extend his arms and get in there. Indeed. And Ruiz settles in. And the first pitch. Here's a swing and a liner to left center. And he gets it down. He's two for two now. That's a great situation for some offense. 
Well, the most effective pitch in baseball is a pitch down and away in the strike zone. And this guy here, though, he's made a living throughout his career being able to hit that pitch, and he does it again right here. The right center. That'll do it as they put that one away. No runs and a couple of hits and two left on. And for those of you catching up with us, hi. I'm Gary Thorne along with John Crock and Steve Phillips bringing you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. He swings and lines this one softly towards the left side. And that's a base hit into left field. So that brings Alex Rios to the plate. Well, anytime you can get on base with no outs to start an inning, you know that an extra base hit will probably score you. But even if the batter behind you can figure out a way to get on base, now you have the potential for a huge inning. And he starts Rios out. It's 0-1 as he swings and misses with that fastball. Well, offensively, they just have not been able to get anything going. Only one runner left on base, so they just need more opportunities and see if they can't capitalize on it. McGowan delivering a strike that puts him in charge 0-2. Well, I tell you what, for a two-seam fastball, he had some good movement and good pop on that one. Batter swung late. That's one away. Stepping up to the plate for the Chicago White Sox. It's going to be Przinski, and one of the league's most prolific hitters in the top five. McGowan with the pitch. Sliders in there for a called strike. He deals. A smash towards the hole. And that'll bring Marti into the plate. Uh, 0 1 mistake right here. He throws it over the heart of the plate. And he pays for it. He's got one of the best averages in the American League. Runners on first and second with one out. First one to T in. Here's the pitch. Ball. First pitch inside with a fastball. Ball one. Uh, Gary, he, he can really swing the bat. Just a quality approach at the plate. Day in and day out. That consistency is critical to their success. That one is swung on and missed by T in. That'll even up the count. Over the course of the last season, only a 179 average against the Jays. Swing and a miss on that fastball, and it's one and two. Credit the catcher on that one. That's a good low target setting up, and he hit the target. Good execution. That's a foul ball. And here's McGowan's one-two offer. Swing and a miss on the fastball, second out in the inning. Now we're going to get a chance, Gary, to see the four-seam fastball in KK. It's down in the zone, but it's definitely a hittable pitch. Looks like the pitcher just caught him looking for something else, and it threw off his timing. Outstanding work right there, John. And uh, for the rest of the lineup, maybe they'll be second-guessing the next time around when they face him, especially with two strikes. And that's too low, 1-0. Flat fastball right there, just missed, just below the knees. Tell you what, a borderline pitch. I think they wanted that one bad. Fastball swung on, missed, now one and one. Well, a lot of times movement will fool a hitter, but it looked like right here the velocity on that pitch was what caused him to swing and miss and be late. Can't make contact on that fastball, one and two. Here's the delivery. Slider called strike three side is retired. So no runs two hits and they strand two. Still a shutout here in Toronto. We catch a shot of Cito Gaston. He's watched some great deliveries on the mound. Struggling bats though important now to get the offense stinging. And here's the first one. Oswald catches him looking. They set up down and away. They throw it down and away. That's how you can be effective as a major league pitcher. Line towards second. Beckham. So Gonzalez is set down. For the Toronto Blue Jays. Catcher. Number 13. And we're going to see Chavez here. Oh for 1 thus far. Base is empty. One out. The first pitch. Hard grounded to short, and Ramirez fields the ball, and that'll set down Chavez. Center fielder, number ten. Vernon Wells at the plate. He flew out his last time up. Strike 
slider swung on and missed. 0 and 1. Oswalt with the delivery. Good eye by Vernon Wells staying away from that one, and we're even. Over his career, 3 3 off the White Sox. Good downward action on that sinker. One and two. Good eye by Vernon Wells staying away from that one, and we're even. That pitch catches the strike zone. It will be a called third strike on Vernon Wells. Save your arm. Do it by pitching only eight times in one inning, three outs. And if you've just joined us, our broadcast of Major League Baseball on 2K Sports with John Kruk and Steve Phillips, I'm Gary Thorne. And Posednik's batting. And he steals off and then he gets away with it. He's one of the league's best. Starts him off with a pitch on the outside corner. Strike one. Uh, I tell you, I, this, this makes the game exciting for me. The strategy that comes into play with a guy like this on the bases. I mean, he's one of the best base dealers around. Over to Overbay. That's one away. Shortstop makes a nice play right here, Gary. Good feet at that position. Gets the easy out at first. And it's Alexei Ramirez now. One away. Top five AL in runs scored. First pitch, fastball, 0-1. Such a consistent, productive, professional hitter. You know, one of their best bats in the lineup, Gary. Greg Gowan delivering a strike that puts him in charge 0 2. Boy, good pitching, good defense. They're getting it done today and obviously limiting this offense, keeping them off the board. Only three guys left on base the entire game. Able to set him down there, chalk that one up as a strikeout for him. And here's Paul Canerco. He hit 10 for 25 last season off the Blue Jays. And he starts Canerco out. Swings and misses the slider. 0 and 1. But once you make the decision to swing, you have got to swing the bat. He waited a little too long. He wanted to swing a little earlier. His indecisiveness, though, caused him to swing late and miss it. McGowan with the pitch. Swung on, line softly to right. And Canerco's got himself a single. Now That's going to bring Carlos Quinton up. Well, the inning is never over with this team. Two outs, they get that guy on first base with that big hit. Another guy gets on base. This could set up a big rally. He's the league leader in ribbies. Now here's a grounder towards the hole. And Quinton's got himself a base hit. Now Tremendous situation the now for the White Sox. Well, you can feel the magnitude of this situation. And Gordon Beckham has that straight look on his face. You cannot see any emotion. He looks like he's confident to get the job done. Now, if you tuned in last night, you had a chance to see him drive in three runs for his club. Hot shot towards the hole. And he'll step on first to retire the side. So they're shut down. So Travis Snyder leading it off. Number 45. First pitch, here it comes. Not a pretty pitch, no damage. Hit hard on the ground towards third. That'll retire Snyder. Now the State Farm leaderboard, we take a look at who the league leaders in slugging percentage were last year. Number one, Joe Maurer. Second, Kendry Morales. In the third spot, Mark Teixeira. Fourth spot, Adam Lynn. Also in the top five, Kevin Euclid. Well, a big power hitter last year, and he was one of the top slugging percentage guys in all of baseball. And he's just a guy that has this big, beautiful, powerful swing. Swung on, hit sharply to first. And he steps on first. That's the second out. Second base. Now, first base is showing good hands and good feet, making the play there and taking it easily himself. It's Hill at the plate. Leads the division in RBIs. Now he swings. Hits this one high in the air. Deep left center field. The first run of the ball game. You'll have to get that on the big fly ball and a 1-0 lead. Now batting. 
And now Blue Jays offense getting it done right now. They take the lead, getting the big hits that they want, Gary. And Encarnacion's first look. Swings and hits this one. Going to be fielded by Rios. And that one's put away to retire the side. Pitching clinic so far. Finally that offensive door opened with a run on the board. Toronto is out on top. Taking account of the ball game, there's Ozzie Guillen. His club only separated by one run from tying this ball game. Got a plan to get back in. We'll see. Swung on, put in play. That's going to be fielded by Snyder. So Rios is set down. One away. We have said it more than once today, but he continues to look extremely sharp, Steve. He's so locked in. You, you wonder how long he can keep it going. I haven't seen anybody pitch like this. There's a swing and a hit. This one's to Wells. That one's put away. Now two down. And Mark T into bat. Struck out swinging last time. McGowan with the pitch. Swings and misses. The good change right there. 0-1. Okay, Gary, listen, he's, he's made pitches. He's had, they've had a few base runners on against them. No question about it. They've gotten a few hits. But he's, not, he's been able to keep them from putting hit after hit after hit together. He's kept them off the scoreboard and let his defense do the work. 1-1 pitch, a fastball, cut on, missed, 1-2. and two. Swing, contact, Wells, Lind will field. That'll do it as they put that one away. And Steve, he has shut him down, and it's... And Ruiz settles in. He's going to get things going here. Home half, 7th inning. First pitch on the way. Swing and a liner to left, and he gets it down. That's his third hit, three for three. We talk about a guy who's swinging it right now as good as anybody. That's his third hit of the ball game thus far. Let's see if this can mount a rally with nobody out. And now Lyle Overbay. There's a swing and a liner towards the gap in left field. Into the alleyway. He'll likely get extra bases on this. Ruiz around third, headed for the plate. And he gets there all the way from first. Well, in a ball game like this, you make this kind of a play, you had better be safe. You are in scoring position on second base. This is a very risky play. It worked out, but you have to wonder if it was too risky to take. Gonzalez at the plate. Well, they've definitely got a rhythm going right now, each player feeding off the other. Well, they needed that one right there, Gary. That was a big at bat. Now they have the lead. Now they're looking to add on to it, too. Take the pressure off the late inning pitching. Bullpen always happy to have as big a lead as they can get going into the late innings, but uh, hey, at least they got themselves a lead. No, you're right. Managers don't mind it too much either, but they want to keep piling on right here. They'll like it even more that way. Singer is in there. Call the ball. Beg your pardon. Three and one. And that one misses. That'll be ball four. He needs to be careful here. Don't give them free base runners. Make them earn it. Well, the three ball count, he tried to at least get it in the strike zone, but the sinker ball just a little bit out of the zone. Runners at the corners with no one out. And the first pitch. Oswald got him to swing. 0 and 1. Here's the pitch. Here's a swing and a fly ball to right center. And it's going to be Quentin. And he, Overbay is going to try and score here. And Overbay will score. Solid approach at the plate. Did not try to do too much right there. Didn't think he had to swing and hit out of the ballpark. Make contact and get a run. Now here's Vernon Wells. And the off smashes that one towards the shortstop. And that's a base hit. Wells on board. Well, the pitcher and catcher decided to go against the scouting report. They tried to get inside the jamming. They just didn't get it in far enough, and he ends up getting that big base hit. One out with runners at first and second. First pitch. Oswald got him to swing. 0-1.
Here's the pitch. Keeps it down that time. 0 and 2. The hitter thought that ball was inside. It certainly wasn't low, and it looks like it was in there. And it holds at 0 and 2. This is that low inside corner. One and two. That's not a spot where he wants to throw that pitch. It's danger right there if it's left out over the plate. He's got to bury that into the dirt. And another. Wow, that hitting coach is smiling. Our State Farm now, leaderboard the takes a look at the players with the RBI lead last year in the league. Number one, Mark Teixeira. Jason Bay is second. Third spot, Adam Lynn. Fourth is Evan Longoria. And Kendry Morales, he's number five. Oh, these are the run producers right here, the guys that, that ultimately decide whether your team wins or loses. They can pick up RBIs in any situation. And we'll get to see Matt Thornton pitching as the White Sox bring him in as a reliever. And that one's going to be outside. Ball one. Ready with a 1-0. And Lind lays off that low pitch. Four career at bats. He's come away empty handed against Matt Thornton. And he comes back with one that's in there, and it's two and one. Well, that hanging slider, it just spins like a helicopter up there. You've got to wail on it when he makes a mistake like that. And Adam Lynn swings and misses at that one. That evens up the count. Hit in the air to left center. That's Gonzalez is heading home. Gonzalez scores. A oh, good piece of hitting right here. The ball down in the zone. He goes down on it and drives it and hits it deep enough to the outfield for the runner to advance. Good base running on that, too. He was ready to tag up if that wasn't going to fall in. Good piece of hit. RBI, that's the chance Aaron Hill has. And, Steve, the offense continues to produce. They keep building on it. Well, they're taking advantage of add-on time, and the opportunities are there. They're cashing in, adding on to this wow. lead. You hope the pitcher's a little frustrated right here. Maybe makes a mistake in a bad pitch and you add to it. And here's the pitch. A shot up the middle. And that one's put away to retire the side. They pick up four hits. It's going to be Knicks now. Now the Blue Jays losing their last game. They had quite a bit of steam coming into that one. They've won four in a row. And the first pitch. Has him out in front as he swings and misses strike one. Their offense only managed three hits in that ball game. Well, three hits and no runs, and that's the big thing. The offense has to get going, but good pitching stopped them. Brings him up. You talk about dominance in a baseball game, you're seeing it here on the mound. I tell you, there's not a hitter in this lineup that has a clue how to hit this guy. What he wants now is that shot out. And Posednik's batting. Grounded out his last time through. Here's the first pitch. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. Over to Overbay. Two away. Boy, he made that throw a split second before he lost control of the body. Now the key was he kept his eye on the target the entire time. Big smile, he got that one done. McGowan with the pitch. It's 0-1 as he swings and misses at that fastball. Well, what an outstanding effort uh, by the pitcher today. I mean, he has just been on top of his game, making the pitches. And Swing, soft liner towards right center. And that's a base hit. Ramirez on board with a single. And that'll bring up Paul Canerco. I've got a moment to take a look back to last year Toronto Blue Jays. Fourth in hits, fourth in home runs. And they were in the top 10 in team batting average, an offense that made a lot of contact and got a lot of base hits. And he starts Canerco out, swings, lines this one back up the middle, and in there, second hit for him in the ball game on his fourth plate appearance. Now Tremendous back. situation now for the, for the White Sox. Right fielder. Well, coming off that amazing four hit performance the last time out getting his team a win he's off to another great start already early in this one and it's Carlos oh. Quinton in the box now we'll try it again here just one for three thus far Strike 
kick. Oh boy, and now they can run. And they'll just have to sit on this one so everybody's safe. Drilled towards the hole. That's in there. Should score the runner. Uh, it's just a shame to see the shutout broken up right there, Gary, but still, just a tremendous performance today. Well, now after giving up three straight hits, the manager has to start thinking about getting somebody up in the pen. And the first pitch. Good pitch as he's late on that one. 0-1. Well, that pitch right there, he just blew it right by the hitter. Swung late. McGowan with the pitch. Swing and a shot to third. Throw in time. Forces him at second for the third out. They pick up one on three hits. Strand a man. The White Sox are not going to concede. Canacion's batting. Trying again here. Just one for three thus far. First pitch. Hit sharply towards the hole. And he's on it first. Good hustle by the pitcher getting off the mound. That's a good heads up play. You, know, you have to know the hitter and his speed. Don't hesitate. Get over and beat him to the bag. He deals. Slider just misses 1-0. Well, I think we're going to see the catcher call for a lot of sliders in this one, Gary. He's got a good one, and the hitters just have not been able to figure it out. Swing and a rocket toward short. And it's caught by Ramirez. And a chance to check out the schedule for the White Sox. Final game with Toronto's Thursday. They'll continue their road trip for the next series. The Cleveland Indians will be hosting. A swing, hot shot. Oh, my. That almost got him. I don't know how he got out of the way. Throw is not in time. And that will be an infield single. Well, he took advantage of a four pitch, a pitch right down the middle of the plate, and that is where he sees the ball the best. The toughest part about that pitch, swung on, lined over the first baseman's head, and that'll put Gonzalez on first. The throw, save at third. Now this one's coming to the inside part of the plate, but he manages to put the bat on the ball and drive it to right field. We call that a muscle hit, Steve. He just muscled that to the opposite field. Well, how do you know it's a muscle hit? Muscles. Take a look at these. Oh, guns. No, he did not, so he will continue this at bat. And we'll get to see Bobby Jenks pitching as the White Sox bring him in as a reliever. Steve, he's got a focus here. Toronto hitters, what's he thinking about? Well, you take a look at this big body guy and Bobby Jenks out on the mound right here, and you know it's about power because of his size, but it's his off-speed pitches, the secondary pitches, the slider, the changeup, the curveball that make him overall effective. Jenks with a delivery. Fastball, he's taking all the way, 3-1. and one. Same thing here, selective 3-0. Now you can still be selective on 3-1. Make him throw it where you want it. Hit hard to second. Throws to second. That'll be a force out and the third out. They pick up no runs on two hits. Quick glimpse of the manager, Ozzie Guillen. Trying to feel what he's thinking right now. It's a very tough game. Uh, maybe, maybe thinking about some adjustments as we move forward. And out on the mound, we'll see Jason Fraser. They've decided it's time to bring a new arm into this one. Well, Jason Frazier's your prototypical relief pitcher. He can pitch anywhere in the game, but he also has the ability. And it's hit well off the bat of Rios. It's down a base hit. He's going to try to stretch it. 
Springtime around Major League Baseball. Here's a look at the Blue Jays. Thursday, they will finish up the Chicago series. Then they'll be going against Torrey Hunter and the Angels. That team enjoying a stretch of great performances recently. That's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And after that, they face another competitive team at home, the Kansas City Royals. Home sweet home for a while here. They'll try to make the most of it. And Jason Fraser. He can try and chase him right here, 0 2. Well, I think right now they're looking to get a couple guys on and see if they can't get somebody to hit one out of the ballpark. Swing and a miss gets away. He's heading for first. There's the throw. He gets the throw down to first base and they'll get the up. That's a great play there by the catcher. When the pitcher throws one in the dirt like that, he's really hoping the catcher will block it, keep it in front, and be able to get the out at first. The kind of plays that can change the momentum of a game if you don't get that out. Well, offensively right. Line towards second. Hill. And that'll set down Tian. Uh, one more out to close this one out, Gary. And obviously a successful day up by three and, and uh, a safe situation. So, you know, obviously looking to try to close this one out and uh, get ready for tomorrow. Here's the first pitch. Fastball swung out of this, still in one. Over nine at bats last year, he had only one hit off the Blue Jays. Here's the pitch. And Jason Fraser. He can try and chase him right here, 0 2. Get a little extra giddy up on that one as he just blows it right by him. Here's the pitch. Smash towards the middle. Oh, Hill on top of that one. And on to first for out number three, and that's going to do it. Well, they treated their hometown crowd to a phenomenal pitching performance in this one. A big win on the shoulders of their pitchers. And we're going to award the Pepsi Clutch performer. You know, a lot of times pitchers get really too hot. And Steve, that ought to send these folks home happy. Oh, no question about it. They get the win in a close game. A lot of excitement and enthusiasm and ready for the next one. Well, that time again, thanks for being with us today, Major League Baseball. For Steve.